talk with Bob across from me. It is time to tech it out. Brought to you by our next job fair, fljobsnow.com. It's happening Wednesday, September 18th from noon to 4, Orlando Science Center. Look, if you're, your job, you're kind of like, you know, kind of getting worn out of my job. I'd like to get a new one. They're going to have over uh, 70 recruiters out there. Again, Wednesday, September 18th, noon to 4, Orlando Science Center. Parking is free. The website with all the details, fljobsnow.com. Go get yourself some new employment. All right. If you keep an eye on stocks, you noticed lately that the stock market's been doing pretty good. In fact, hitting uh, all-time highs. A lot of that has been buoyed by techs, tech stocks. Um, I just say whenever I hear stocks, I'm like, ooh, I don't like talking about. Uh, probably the most prominent that's really just wailing right now is NVIDIA, chipmaker NVIDIA. They uh, reported their uh, results uh, for last quarter uh, just after market close yesterday. And they it's came insane. They came back with, they beat market expectations. Now, here's the curious part, and uh, everybody's going to be keeping an eye on how things go today. They beat expectations by a lot. Yet, in after-hours trading, their stock fell. So, Mm -hmm. investors may still be a little jittery, thinking, do we got too many eggs in the tech basket? Does that sound familiar? Anyway, um, when things open today, we'll see where the stock market goes, or if it just, you know, kind of sorts itself out. But NVIDIA is, uh, that is one that people have been watching, and they have just been outperforming and overperforming and it, it doesn't look like there's any stop in them uh leading the way in ai uh, in the you know what's needed moving forward in that technology uh france has charged uh the telegram ceo pavel duroff with a series of crimes um he is to remain in france he was uh released on a five and a half million dollar uh bond but he must check in at a police station twice a week uh, the Paris prosecutor said he's prohibited from leaving the country. The charges are being investigated, uh, including complicity in managing an online platform that is Telegram, uh, in, in enabling illegal transactions, complicity in crimes such as enabling the distribution of child sexual abuse material, drug trafficking, and fraud, and refusal to cooperate with law enforcement. A lot of people have... Uh, this is the one you were talking about the other day, yep, right? Yeah, I had this in the loop headlines. It's big news when you mm-hmm. get a, you know, the head of a major, uh, you know, media platform being arrested and charged with stuff like this. Telegram is largely hands off when it comes to any kind of moderation regarding content and such. And when you don't have any kind of guardrails, stuff like this can proliferate. And that's what he's being charged with. So this. This is going to be a test case of sorts to see where this all goes. It's pretty irresponsible if you really think about it, having no guardrails, right? Any mm-hmm. sick hug can get on there, and apparently did. Very little uh, guardrails. So, so that's be a case to be uh, watched there. Think of being at a kid's bowling birthday party, and you don't have the guardrails up. Is that fair? It's just a gutter party. All those kids are going to go home upset, and then Little Johnny's party was the worst ever. Thank you for breaking that out down into easy-to-understand common man-on-the-streets uh, terms, Taco Bob. Got it. Uber and Cruise LLC, a self-driving car startup owned by General Motors, have announced a partnership in which Cruise will provide Chevy Bolt self-driving vehicles to the ride-sharing giant Uber beginning next year. Um, not the first time that this cruise outfit has offered autonomous taxis. California issued a permit to the company to operate self-driving taxis in San Francisco. And by the end of October 2023, there were close to 600 autonomous vehicles in the city. However, after a set of safety incidents, including two pedestrian accidents, California withdrew its permit and federal regulators began investigating the cars. Cruise had also previously operated in Phoenix, Austin, Dallas, Houston, and Miami, and the company voluntarily suspended operations in those cities as well. Does this sound like a great idea with Uber? You decide. <laughs> that thing pulls up in front of my house. Reject. A teenager in India making headlines after he uh, went on a hunger strike after his mom refused to buy him an iPhone. He's being accused of emotional blackmail after uh, making this move. His mom gave into the pressure and bought him the damn phone. That's bad parenting. <laughs> Sorry, hunger strike. 
Don't eat. Well, Mom, get ready because he's going to want the latest and greatest because Apple has announced their next big event coming up on September 9th, uh, which has the tagline, It's Glow Time, and will take place at the Steve Jobs Theater at Apple Park. During the show, the company is expected to launch the iPhone 16 lineup. I quit. I quit. I am Go throwing, on a hunger strike right now until your mom gets you it, kids. I am throwing the towel in, man. There's... <laughs> what, what, what? I still what? haven't paid off this one, what? and it's like seven, seven ago. I don't even know what it you is. You don't know what number you have? No, I think it's like a It's working a fine, 10. though, right? I, I hope so. I'm still making payments on it. I think it's a 10. <laughs> it's because I, I go on the cheap and you know get the model that's older. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't necessarily have to play still a thousand bucks. The latest and greatest. A tech startup called Reflect Orbital is planning to launch a constellation of mirrored satellites into orbit so they can beam sunlight anywhere on Earth and sell people sunlight after dark. One of the co-founders is a former SpaceX employee. They're trying to put a constellation of satellites into orbit and can reflect sunlight and direct it back anywhere on Earth. Uh, Russia actually did a proof of concept decades ago, and it worked. So, It's I, meant to be dark at night. It's mainly designed to help big solar farms keep generating power at night. Okay, well, that I couldn't understand. But, but anyone can go on their website and fill out a sunshine application. you got to uh, fill one out by October 23rd if you want to get in on the ground floor. It's going to affect the sea turtles. You know how when you stay at a condo, you're right. supposed to close the blinds at night. Always the sea turtles, Turn yes. The- Turn the lights off. <laughs> and Taco, just for you, about half, you're not alone. You're not alone. About half of all working Americans believe that AI will decrease the number of available jobs in their given industry. Of course, you'd have to be a fool not to. AI is Satan. It's not entirely Satan. I, the majority is Satan. I think there can be a lot of good come out of AI, but there's also a lot of uh, unknown if you all only knew, I've been talking to a AI computer, Pat Lynch, for the last month. You're Satan. Don't, don't, don't be afraid of the unknown. Just be cautious. <laughs> cautious. Or you can just ostrich it over here with the human ostrich. Look at him. He's put his head in the sand now. That's the way you do it, man. Anytime you've got something stressful, just put your head under the console, just like this. <laughs> With that, he says yeah. goodbye, and that'll do it for Tech It Out this week. Stand by. Lynch and Taco's Workday Rock Block is coming up at 8. Lynch and Taco. Demand. Download the iHeartRadio app. From the Bogan Muns and Muns.